How y'all doing today? How are you all doing? My name is Monique. Just doing a little bit of work today. I have to leave in the, my regular office, so we'll just wait for some people to come on while I'm doing my work. Hopefully you're working and making money. Well, my name is Monique Gwen. I'm a business consultant, an employment counselor, and I own a dental company. And today I am working on my dental stuff today. And um, I got stuff on my clothes, wearing black. Normally we wear white, but today I had to wear black. I had to go to the office and meet some new students and um, got my little child here. She's on the floor. I had to come back home to my home office. But if you are in the Charlotte area, you can schedule an appointment with me. And um, my office is in the university. This is not um, fun. Being an entrepreneur is not fun whatsoever <laughs> because all morning the video footage that was done, the editing stuff didn't work. Like we can't get it. I don't know what kind of files and things. I don't know. It's far. It's about to be fall. New product. It's, um coming out this month and we're working on the product for like uh, the winter months making sure I have enough inventory and all of that I gotta do all that um, but the software that I had went and paid for the software is not working today and so the commercial footage the footage that was filmed today I don't know what's gonna happen. How y'all doing, business owners? Or if you work a regular job, just say I work a job, I'm at work. But this is day in my life. I left my office in Charlotte. I came back to my home office. Uh, my kid wouldn't be quiet at my office, even though I'm the boss. She told, she, you know what she was telling? She said, she says, I got boobs. I'm like, what? What did you say? She says, I got boobs. I got boobs. I got boobs. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Shh. And then she says, Mama, Mama, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to bust you upside the head. I'm like, what? What the girl? Shh. Where are you getting this mess from? Be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. Okay. Be quiet. Um, but yeah, entrepreneur life is not fun at all. It is not fun. Being a business owner, I done had to come all the way back home. I purchased uh, software for the commercial so it could be edited. I purchased high-grade software so it could be to my liking. I didn't want to uh, pay this man. I didn't like what he had. So I bought my own software. We did the commercials. Uh, one commercial this morning for my new product. I They won't allow me to show my pro new product yet until the commercial is done. Then I can kind of come on my own personal Facebook and show it. And um, But it's for the new product for the fall that came in. And I own a dental company, Teeth Whitening Mogul. I'm also a business consultant. I have helped people all the way in Cairo. Um, to um, the Americas, North America, and South America. I do a lot, although it's not really on my Facebook, my personal Facebook anyway. I got like three Facebooks, and one of the other where you would never know it's me because I, my, my actual me and not on there, it's just business stuff. But, and I'm a YouTuber. But I help people also get jobs. The job stuff, I was, by this time, 11 o'clock, we were supposed to be working. Well, I was supposed to be back home uh, working with jobs, dishing out jobs today. But, you know, you're not a business owner. Why are you watching? Like, what are you doing today? You're supposed to be work at work. The ones that work in the morning. 
this is like my favorite coffee. I make it myself. I am addicted to coffee. I'm trying to break my addiction, you know, to coffee. Trying to break that addiction to coffee. I just got a bill to, uh, yesterday. I went and checked the, my business mailbox and that thing had bill in there. That almost two thousand. Who would like to pay it? No, it's, it's sixteen hundred ninety-three dollars. Like, what is this for? And um, this company that I had been talking to in New York City, I haven't even said yeah. They done sent me a bill from like last month. I haven't used anything. I ain't done nothing. I'm like, yo, how you billing me? Why am I getting a bill? Where am, where is my name? Where is my name? Show me my name. <laughs> I called the corporate office, which I think is in Texas. Y'all, the woman told me, y'all, she's like, no, you're in a contract with us verbally. I'm like, no, I'm not. I haven't used your products. I haven't used your services. Nothing. And I got a $1,693 something dollar bill. But if you would like to pay it, you can go to, uh, I don't know where you could go. I guess you, you could pay the bill, right? And, um, but yeah, this is just a day in my boring life. I have, I had to wear black today and we normally wear white. I don't know where my, um, if you, if you all make uniforms for companies, let me know. I've had to go online. I have ordered several uniforms and they come back either too small, freaking five X. I went and tried to give my granny one of my uniforms. She said, who do you think you, who you think you coming up here talking to with that big old 5X? I'm a 4X. I was like, well, excuse me, granny. I just, I don't have, <laughs> can't just give nobody my company shirts, but I can give it to you to sleep in or something. So if you make company shirts, let me know. I need one, a CEO one. I like, um, I'm not talking about just like uh, t-shirts. Uh, mine is, um, I had one that was sealed with the collar and then I want the v-neck and it has to have whatever we have um, on our stuff. And then I need one for the girl that assists me. And, um, and then I need like some more. I need maybe like 20, you know, di but those are different than ours. And I need that ASAP. Um, my tag, my baby messed that up, like, at work. She pulled my shirt, so I'm like, okay, I can't be going around like this. I can't do that. We did a, a film commercial this morning, and the editing stuff don't work, you know? So I purchased um, some stuff. Don't want to use the man stuff that, swear he's the editor, but he ain't. I looked at his stuff, I'm like, I don't think so, sir. I, I'll give you, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. But um, this particular stuff that I got to do today is for teeth whitening mogul. I actually have my teeth whitened. Yeah. Went ahead uh, in the, what, the demo of the new product. Obviously, um, I did, I work with a, a real lab with a scientist. They create my gels. I tell them what I want in my gels. I'm not just buying from Asia. Been there, done that, tried that, about burnt my mouth off. So I said, no, I got to find a scientist. I found a scientist a long while ago. But um, it's in New York City, and they make my gels. Soon I will travel to New York City to the laboratory where they uh, produce um, and make my gels and put things in it. You know, it's a dental lab um, laboratory. It's dentists use the um, lab as well. It's not just some man that's a scientist just saying, yo, I'll do it. No, it's dentists use the lab too. Like, I'm not a dentist, but, you know, um, I make your teeth whiter than snow. All right. And, um, yeah. And so my stuff is uh, FDA certified. I got. I'm certified with all the dental cert, uh, certifications that's needed to pr produce and sell gels in the Americas, in the United States. And um, took a long time. My own money did that. No, just because I have kids doesn't mean I get money from the state. People see you with a bunch of kids. They think, oh, yeah, yeah. No, 
my own hard working money that I had to work hard for, paid for everything. Um, I don't own a salon. People think, I know it was a young man, he wanted a book for his teeth to be whitened. And I, I got, I get a, a lot of people every day and I'm like, I don't own a salon just because I own, uh, uh, we, I own a school. I teach people how to become a teeth whitening technician. I sell salons buy from me. They buy from me. I I manufacture different gels, different um, products. I have everything you see. You know, I think there's a uh, there. Well, I know for a fact there's a popular company, and the company is called Snow. But see, we whiten you whiter than snow. Okay, yeah, and um, they're out west, but we the same thing. We do the same thing. I have the same everything that they have and more and better. Um, if someone wanted to come up against me and say, well, I buy from them. We're cheaper. We're cheaper. And the new gel, I wish I could show you this product so bad. Uh, it only takes five minutes. Five minutes. They whiten me today. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my product. It's new. Um... I, I tried my own product out today, and I am so happy about that. And um, I knew it was going to work. I mean, it came from our lab. I just had not tried it out on myself yet, you know. And it worked pretty good, like, for five minutes. Like, it started whitening right away, right away. And with this particular product that we have now, you can use it with the light or without the light. With the light, you know, it works faster without the light it still whitens you know so i'm just excited about my gels i really am and especially the new ones that came out it took a while um to get them it took a while and then i am still waiting on like freight i am waiting on freight uh big freight um i have to get a truck for and you know i have a storage that i have to store a lot of stuff like the gels um i have to make sure they stay in a freezer not a not a freezer but a ref they have to be refrigerated so i had to buy big refrigerator type things and put the gels all the gels in there you know um but i have to pick up freight i don't know where it's coming in from yet uh i've been waiting on it for a long time um i'm afraid of lights and machines i got some more machines that's coming and um just some other stuff i was so pissed off when they sent my freight back to sender i was like yo and like i think i said that in another video i was willing to go to kentucky kansas wherever it was one of them k places kentucky or kansas sit down lady at my office talking about boobs I'm talking about she going to punch me or whatever she said in my face i had to get her out of there you were supposed to be writing your business plan down on your piece of paper what happened to that she told me it was none of my business i said well you need to get your colored markers and you need to go sit down and you need to write your business plan out you need to have time to sit down and think about what you want how you want to plan your day out no i'm not gonna babysit your baby doll she want me to shut up y'all i'm talking about her i don't care i had to leave my office anyway and come home to my home office and as soon as I come in, she take her pants off, her socks, her shoes, whatever. She looked like a small worker, okay? Unpaid. But anyway, um, entrepreneur lifestyle is not easy. It's not. See, this right here, when you are having addiction like me, with coffee see tea, whitening companies love people like me and I, that's why i love people like you too who uh are habitual I, well, I ain't gonna say habitual i drink a lot of coffee i'm up a lot but i do like coffee and i like this coffee the best although i'm the one who made it <laughs> 
Although I'm the one who made it, and I do have an espresso machine and all that, I got a lot. When it comes to coffee, I got a lot of coffee. I have bought coffee straight from Colombia before like this. See how it was, you know, straight from South America. And it was, it was, it was strong. I'll tell you that. And I don't even drink. Whatever coffee that was I bought, it was strong. But anywho... When you own a, a dental whitening company like I do, some your number one customer are people that drink coffee, people who drink wine. I don't drink wine. Don't come over here. No, 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 baby. I'm on camera. No, that no, no. Don't do that. Don't do mama like that. Here, take my light. Here, go pray for me over there. Okay. Go pray for my business. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, right. They always want to pray for my business, pray for my mind. They're like, Mama, you need to go to bed. We're going to pray that you go to bed. And then they'll ask me, am I saved? They'll say, you, you ain't saved. You, you want to whoop your kids. You not. You must not be saved. I'm like, I am saved, sanctified, set free, and delivered. I am. Imagine your baby in your office talking about deliverance is real. <laughs> she, say, she be saying a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, you drink wine, uh, to, tomato-based stuff like spaghetti, all of that. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I, you know, just tobacco. You, you a habitual cigarette smoker. Um, nicotine, that, that tobacco use. Um, people like that, they, they search out companies like what I own so that they can have a wider... Don't come on the camera, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So that they can have a wider smile. And, you know, yeah, and they do. So my newest product that I have is um, a super maximum strength peroxide gel. You know, super maximum strength peroxide gel. One thing I know about people, people are nosy, but they don't, they want to see the, the fruit of your labor. Like, they want to enjoy that. They don't always want to hear the backstory, like what you had to do to get where you are. Um, uh, come, baby doll, come on. Uh uh, no, no, what is wrong with you? I thought you were being good today. I thought you were being good today. I thought you were gonna be a good girl today. Where is your where, where is your stuff at? I thought you were being good today. You want some lip gloss? Okay, stand right there. Let me give you some lip gloss. Where my purse at? Let me give you some lip gloss, lady. Get my baby doll. Don't come over here. Let me give you some lip gloss so you'll be good. And you'll stay where you need to stay, my baby. She just give you some lip gloss. Here. Yeah, some lip gloss. There you go. There you go. Mmm, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Hallelujah. That's pretty. Now be a good baby. And sit down. Get your little pillow thing over there. We don't want your baby showing out. Get your baby. All right. Good girl. Thank you. She got a little bit of sleep yesterday, like a little bit. I've been up a long time. I've been up since three, three or five o'clock this morning. One of the one one of the times. Um, I actually finally do like the logo stuff. Um, the writing and the fonts that they have for um, my stuff. But anyway, what I was wanting to say is I'm not a salon. 
um, I don't want to be a salon. Salon people buy from my company, okay? They buy the, the gels, the whitening agent stuff from my company. They buy pro stuff. This is just a day in the life. I, I, I wanted to stay at my office, but I can't. My baby's showing out. And then, um, you know, just different stuff. I, had, I did have to meet with one student uh, this morning. She will be well on her way soon, and yeah, um, I'm waiting on, she wanted a, a, a bigger type machine, so I'm waiting on a, a machine for her, and something else. I'm also redoing uh, my workbook. I created my workbook. Many people don't know that. I didn't go use some company. I had to sit for a long time and create my workbook for t for the technicians that was hard to do um especially when it came to sanitation and all of that i know sanitation i've i i know all of that you know um i did get certified with uh this i have all my different sanitation um certifications as well that I got years ago. I update them, all that kind of stuff. I am well aware of sanitation, but someone who's going to have a business as a whitening technician, you know, they don't know sanitation, so they have to be taught that, and then they get certified. Her, um, once she passes the exam, uh, I don't know where I put her, um, but our cert certificates and stuff, like our diploma looking things, they are so pretty for the technicians, but I do a lot. I don't say a lot about what I do all the time, but I do a lot. I'm up a lot. I don't get a lot of sleep. Um, when you're self-made, I hate to say self-made because prayer got me where I am. This is brand new. This business here is like brand new. I never did this kind of business. I wanted I had it in the back of my mind a lot of years ago. And I kind of looked into it, worked toward it. But I was like, I don't know. But God gave me this business. And it's brand new. And, and sometimes the ride is scary, especially when you don't know nobody that do what you do. And then um, I get messaged in all my messengers for services. And I'm like, I'm not a salon. Can we whiten your teeth at the school? Yeah. But I'm not a salon. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be treated as a salon because I'm not. I am not at your every beck and call. I don't want to whiten your teeth. I do want to whiten your teeth, but not like me working at a salon. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I'm the business owner. The people who come to my school, they own salons. A lot of the students that get taught, they own salons. Um, they open whitening places. You know what I'm saying? But over here at teethwhiteningmobile.com, I own the school. I manufacture jails. I create uh, and I tell me and a scientist, we work together and they, um, it's a dental, they're dental people and they tell me what's best for your teeth you know what i'm saying because sometimes it'd be stuff i'd be like well what about this this will probably taste very good in their mouth when they use the gels and they have told me uh -uh, eh, not gonna be good um, because of this this and that and so my gels are pretty pretty good and um they're they're so u.s um style they're certified okay they're certified um to be sold to the general public. Don't be buying everybody's stuff. Everybody's stuff ain't certified. Okay? And, um, yeah, so that's what I do. It's very hard. When I had to create the, the, the book, the book, oh, my God. When I had to create the book, I was in my car. I've been creating uh, the textbook. I remember when I was homeless. And I was writing my textbook. Nobody ever knew it. And I was, um, that I was actually homeless before. Not like in the streets, but 
you know, was, was, um, because I got conned in the home that I was in and I had to immediately leave. So and it made me homeless. So I was in my car and I would be writing my, I was writing my textbook, like creating the textbook. And it was times that I tore everything up because I was so angry at my situation and things was just so hard and I would tear everything up. I almost threw my computer I almost threw it out on the highway one time. I, and then I got a lot of computers in there, like, in my house. Because I I, have, I own a staffing company. I help people get jobs. I've been working from home. I used to work hourly, uh, work at home jobs. You know, you can go to MoniqueGwen.com. You can join the mailing list and just sign apply to the jobs if you never apply they're gonna get them jobs to people over in the philippines in manila manila made they make more than more than you they 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 gonna ask for low and then they're gonna ask for way more than you ever make an hour because they're gonna blow them out the frame but if you don't ever get the job and apply to those jobs how can you ever blow them out the frame and say keep them here in the usa so you know i i i I have had a long journey. <laughs> I own three different companies and you know, and that's Moni Gwen International, which is in here, my home office, but then I have another office in university in executive park. And um and I do some of my work here like I'm here today. And um, you know, with Teeth White and Mocha, which is brand new, and um Moni in Moni Gwen International is on my YouTube channel, you know, and things like that. And I help businesses uh from start to finish of all kinds you know what i'm saying get themselves together but the t this dental this dental stuff is crazy so sometimes I, I travel places and i go somewhere even to the ruckus of ruckus places and i people watch i my advisors i had to get advisors like i had to get me some advisors um because the dental industry in whitening is a billion dollar industry. Anybody doing doing anything whitening, oh my hair is stuck to my shirt. Anything in whitening, they're pretty much probably making a lot of money. Like seriously, that's why at my school we help produce and breed more whitening agents. Um, it is like a forty billion dollar industry. Um, I actually. They didn't know I was going to have a whitening company, but the people at, um, I think it's Whitening Club Direct, T -fight, something, direct something Direct, I forgot. In one year, they started theirs last year and they made $100 million by December the 31st. $100 million. That's how popular the teeth whitening industry is. If you don't know it, I'm sure you want your teeth whitened. You probably buy stuff in Walmart that whitens your teeth um you if you can't afford to go get your teeth whitening i bet you you buy something at walmart or whatever store you go to and they have something to whiten your teeth in it peroxide my teeth are white right now they've been I've, I've been drinking coffee they mad at me because i was drinking coffee but it's okay it's okay my teeth got whitened this morning by my newest product that just came. I'm excited. I've been holding on to it for just a little bit. It just came. And um, it'll be on the website uh, this month. It's my new fall product. It can be used any season. It whitens your teeth. But it's my new product. And, yeah. But um, teeth whitening is actually a great business to be in. And, um... You know, so I get a lot of messages on my messenger and on the Teeth Whitening Mogul Facebook. Make sure you follow it. We also have an Instagram uh, about how can people become that or can they make money. You always make money. Now, you may not see the products on my site, but I have everything that whitens teeth down to toothpaste. Um, I produce gels, you know, uh, people want charcoal. We got charcoal. We got everything. I have, I work with a dental lab. And so my stuff is produced at a laboratory. Uh, my lab is in New York City. Um, not New York City, but it's in New York. Okay. It's up there in New York. Soon I'll be going up there and, um, you know, in my uh, 
business owner journey type of um, the documentary stuff that you don't know about, but it will one day, uh, it will be out one day. Not no time soon because it just started, but I'll be taking a journey there and I will be able to see with my own two eyeballs, the jails, everything, how they do everything. You know, it's not something that I can sit in my house and make. No, you got to have, you you know, you got, you, you have, no, 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 no. If somebody says that they're alive from hell, <laughs> I wouldn't brush my teeth with that stuff, you know. Um, yeah, so dentists use same dental lab. A lot of dentists um, use it as well because it's a dental lab. But um, the dental industry, whitening industry, it is very, very lucrative to be in. It's very, very lucrative to be in. The thing is, many aspiring whitening technicians they don't know where to go i am um there there are salons that uh try to teach things like that but there were no schools you know so here we are an actual school i own a school i had to create the textbook i i had to do everything and so i had to get me advisors and um my advisors um business advisors they tell you know they are helping me uh with my vision you know that god gave me and i have to listen to them and so sometimes i'll be so excited when stuff come in the mail that i've been waiting on oh my god i'll be wanting to just show it and so now i am learning that i can't do that you know what i'm saying that it I can't do that um, at all, you know. If you're getting a commercial made, you can't show the product before the commercial. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you have a product for Black Friday and it and it's not out yet, you can't just go on Facebook and just show it, you know. So sometimes I want to do that so freaking bad, but I don't. And, um, yeah, but... In my, um, I have to go and people watch a lot. People watch and watch smiles. Um, in people watching, I have learned that, you know, um, a lot of people hide their smile. A lot of people, you know, I do that sometimes because somebody stole my retainer at a restaurant. Someone threw it. That one, it kind of shifts upward until I get my retainer. It goes right back in there. I'll try it again. But that is, to me, I feel embarrassed about that. It's something I don't really should maybe not even talk about. But I deal with teeth. So that's something that, you know, one of my issues that I, I feel that I have sometimes with smiling and so sometimes I'll catch myself never smiling in no pictures and my kids they'll say well smile in the picture so in my people watching with my business I go a lot of places and I people watch I may mean, not ever post it on Facebook but I go a lot of places even as far as Florida I go a lot of places and I have to people watch my advisors they told me you have to people watch and when I people watch you can't if you see me in the streets and I'm looking at you it's not because I want you I don't want your man I don't want you I people watch because I'm watching your smile I own a dental company and so I need to know why you're not smiling at your best you know what i'm saying and a lot of times it's it's because the person uh has crooked teeth teeth ain't white you know and it's a lot of times because the teeth ain't white this is a known fact 100 percent. when you are job searching and you are one of those type of people that have to go in the the inside to do your interview a lot of those people look for things to whiten their teeth and um, so a lot of people look for stuff uh, to whiten their teeth. No, baby. No. Go get a book.
go get a book. They look for stuff to whiten their teeth. And, um, you know, so that's a known 100% fact. It's a 100% fact that if a person's teeth is whiter, they will smile, even if they're crooked. <laughs> yeah, they will smile big time. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, baby, I don't want you on camera, okay? They will smile big time or whatever. <sighs> My baby won't act right. They will smile. So I people watch. I watch frowns. I watch the expressions, facial expressions of people. I watch smokers. I watch coffee drinkers. And I know, you know, I, I, I'm a coffee drinker or whatever. And, you know, I watch them. And I watch. I look at the teeth. I look at a lot of different things. And even if a person only has one tooth in their mouth, if that thing is white, they're going to pretty much smile. And, um, you know, because that that's the best they got to offer and they're happy um your smile your teeth your 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 teeth can actually make you feel better too if they're white whiter um it's just a lot that goes with it it's, it helps with your overall appearance and stuff like that and um a lot of people uh that you see smiling a lot they normally have white teeth right a lot of them what baby you want a color? Well, I gave you some stuff over there so you could write out your business plan, draw out your buildings and everything. I did all of that. I did all of that just for you. Didn't I? I did, didn't you? What's your name? My name's Amaya. Amaya. Well, go on over there. Mommy about to cut this video off. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go on. But yeah, so, um, you know, it's a lot of hard work being a business owner, very hard work, not easy. Somebody sitting up trying, this is easy, 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 this is easy, man, this is easy. They lying. They lying. The, the hardest thing to deal with, though, sometimes is the general public. The general public, you all are some hard, sometimes are some of the hardest people to deal with, which is, is okay. But I'm going to go ahead and go because I, at this hour, I was supposed to be doing the, the jobs. Um, but I got to figure out what's going on with the editing of my stuff. And yeah, and hopefully, whew, I don't want to yawn. <sighs> on camera, I'm so tired. Um, hopefully, you all will be um, seeing the newest things that I have to offer. Make sure you buy one of my whitening kits. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do that. And as I said, if you make office uniforms... I, I, I would love to talk with you, okay? I would love to talk to you because I need some made. And I want, like I said, um, quality. I'm willing to pay for quality. Yeah. Move. Yeah. So I need one um, for me, the CEO. I need one for my assistant. I need some for um, when I, I'll be having, I'll be opening a warehouse soon. Yeah, so I'll need some for my warehouse workers. I'm just, the people who were working for me to help get things shipped out, I don't like them people. They lazy. I work harder than they do, and it's my company. Obviously, I am created it. But one thing I hate is to hire somebody, and you sitting up looking at me. What you looking at me for? If I'm hiring you to get the, the ball going and get that stuff the way it needs to go down the line for it to be put in the packaging and the labels put on it and everywhere it needs to go, blah, 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 blah. Why are you not doing that? I don't hire females. I don't hire males. And what I have learned is they be looking at me like I'm supposed to be over there doing it. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm paying you to, to um, put the stuff together so it can be shipped out. If, if there's a hundred orders, or two, three hundred orders. I get a lot of orders. Uh uh. Sometimes I can do that stuff by myself. But if I'm hiring you to help, what the heck is? Why well, I don't need to sit with you? 
And that's what has been going on. You know, I'm like, yo, I, I created this company. I don't have to prove nothing to you. You do what I'm telling you to do, and I'll pay you for your time. But that's what I've been dealing with. And I even I, I help people get jobs, but I see why owners that people who own mat like warehouse type companies, I see why they hire Mexicans. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry, but I do. I see why. I see why. And I'm like, whoa. Whoa. That, that is crazy. That is crazy. Because people be like, I got kids. I got kids. I'm like, yo, I got four kids. I don't want to hear that mess. I don't want to hear it. Because the I got kid, you trying to get up in the, in the soft. You trying to. You, I'm not a softie. I done fell for that before in my lifetime. And and people who come at me like that, when they want either want me to help them get a job or they want to do something with me or work, you know, and I pay them for their time, they use that I got kid thing. And they some of those people be the laziest people I've ever met in my life. And I be sitting there like, if I lose my company, I got four kids, you're going to pay any bill that I got. Any one of them. Anyone? No, no, you're not. You know, so soon... I will be opening an actual warehouse. Most people have been having to come to my office in um, Charlotte and they have been helping me. I have randomly been allowing people to come because like, uh, yeah, and we had to check them out. A lot of people don't like the procedures. I'm like, yo, I can't have anybody up in here. My people been having to have be checked out at the doctor. I'm like, yo, you ain't giving me nothing, nobody nothing. I need a doctor's no. <laughs> like, I've been having my people get checked out. The four that was working with me, so they tired of doing that. Go work for Amazon. Go over. They don't give it blah. Lord, let me catch my tongue. I don't care nothing about nobody. So I will be having a man. Uh, a warehouse soon i just don't know where to get one at like i've been looking around and when this new freight come in i i don't know how things is gonna go because i'm expecting good turnout for the winter months and so i am just a one woman team right here in my home and i do whatever as much as i can but sometimes that that stuff get overwhelming overwhelming and it's hard to trust people one thing i've learned about letting people come around me they want to be you they feel like they can do what you do and i'll be looking at the especially when it be females i'll be looking at them they be like oh and i'm paying you i'm paying you you supposed to be doing whatever i'm telling you to do because i need you to do that for me but you over you this way i can do that what can you do go do it don't come over here and do it. Do it over there. They always want to be you. You know what I'm saying? They People always feel like they can do your business, run it better than you. Ain't put a dime in that thing. Haven't done nothing. And um, that's the parts that be getting me sometimes. I'll be like, yo, what? Okay, yeah, you know. And um, one particular individual been trying to figure out how to get a dental lab like so she thinks that i don't know that but i do i do i do i do but you won't get mine yeah i do i do and um <laughs> they don't get to hear hear me he see that just deal with with labeling and do, doing what you're supposed to do you know anyway um i'm about to go i am about to go in a second and drink some more of this coffee. I need to stop. How can you own a dental company? You drink coffee. Like, my coffee be so good. My espresso machine, Lordy. I like my espresso machine. Them things are not cheap. It's $600 for an espresso machine. And I didn't even know how to use it at first. I, I didn't even know how to use it. Um, but yeah, like I said, people want to be you and your company. You let them come work around you. Next thing they know, they they want to be you. They want to have. I'm gonna order. I'm gonna do this and be her. Do what she doing. Yeah right. <laughs> yeah right. <coughs> you all have a blessed day. I hope you don't see any gels that spilled on me. Um, but I want you to have a blessed day in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name, have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Um, and I'm going to have a blessed day. And I'll probably come back on later. And I will be giving you five jobs. And I will just come back later and do that when I am in a different atmosphere in here. Well, my atmosphere is always, I try to keep it holy. But my baby, my daughter, is right here. So I will wait until a little bit later on the night. And I will talk about job stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm really tired of talking about job stuff. Okay, well, you all have a blessed day. Pray for yourself. Pray for your business. If you don't have a business, ask God to give you a witty idea and invention and see what it is. You know, fast pray. Ask God see what it is that he wants you to do in your life. And do not try to mimic and copycat somebody else, okay? Bye. And make sure to purchase a product, teethwhiteningmogul.com. Get one of my kits. What are you waiting on? Gosh, get one of the kits.